to ask you a question. No, it's my pajamas. Oh, you look fine. Who cares? I don't have my lipstick on. What do you know about Shavuot? I don't know anything about Shavuot. You can explain it to me now in your video. Okay, <laughs> okay, I'll try. Is it a holiday about dairy, maybe? Your mommy doesn't really know. Oh, so close. I, yeah, cheese. I have to learn from you now. So make <laughs> it in your video and you can tell your mommy all about Shavuot. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cut. <laughs> Hi, my name is Leia. How are you doing? Good to see you again. Or good to see if you're new. Nice to meet you. So today we're going to be talking about the Jewish holiday. The most Jews do not celebrate something I've never heard of growing up. <laughs> Why? I don't know. We're going to answer questions throughout this video, so stay tuned. <laughs> we eat a lot of cheese on this holiday, okay? So I live next to an organic goat farm, so I went there with my friends. So we're going to check it out and see what they have, see what we ate. I made a total mistake in the kitchen, so you'll see soon what's going to go on. Wow, look at this. They're so, um... They're chocolate. Here we talk about spirituality and we cook and we grow together. So subscribe, I'd love to see you here again. And let's start cooking and answering questions about Shavuot. Okay, so first off, what is Shavuot? Shavuot is a holiday that we celebrate that God gave the Jewish people the Torah at Mount Sinai over 3,000 years ago. This comes after the 49 days that we count the Omer. The Omer is the time between Pesach, Passover, and Shavuot. So Shavuot is actually called weeks. Shavuot is like a Shabbat. We don't work, and also people stay up all night to learn Torah, and they listen to the reading of the Ten Commandments. They enjoy dairy foods, we'll talk about that later, and other festivities. Okay. Yeah, it was crazy. I'm one minute We did. This one cry. Oh hello. What are you what are you doing? You wanna watch Uma? Yeah. I forgot to put one. I forgot to put one in the water. Bagels, 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 bagels. Yeah. You got bagels with Shabbat? question is how did Moses receive the Torah? So he was up in Sinai for 40 days. You know what's interesting? Also the word halav, which means a milk. If you add them together, 8 plus 30 plus 2 is 40. I lie. You like that Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so 40 days Moshe was receiving the most nutrients in the whole world the Torah it's like halav because the Torah is like into nourishing milk for our souls okay so I thought let's have big on cream cheese how Jewish is that okay so let's see what happens <laughs> 2,000 years later bagels are ready you. Bagels are ready. <laughs> oh wow look at these they're chocolate donuts they're like, like inverted. Donut. There you go. Oh, they're in a car. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Okay, with my friends at a. Where am I? I'm at organic farm that has cheeses. Well, the question is why do Jews eat cheesecake on Shavuot? <laughs> 
Okay, so we got the Torah. So the Jews became obligated to observe the kosher laws after we got the Torah. So the Torah was given on Shabbat. So no cattle could be slaughtered or the utensils could be koshered. So this is the reason we eat dairy. Everything is very easy. We don't have to slaughter animals or anything like that. So that's why we eat dairy on Shavuot. But also I think it's like a business holiday, right? Like all the dairy products in Israel, they have all these advertising and everything, you know, eat these cheese say eat this cottage cheese. It's a huge business opportunity. <laughs> שלום לכולם, רציתי לאחל לכולנו חג שבועות שמח, שיהיה לה... נתי, שבועות, אתה בא לי עם שווארמה? חג שבועות שמח ממני, הגאון, לא מנתי, הוא בשרי. חג שמח. You know, everywhere in the world they take advantage of different holidays, right? <laughs> שלום לכם, כל עם ישראל, חג שבועות שמח. אם תשאלו אותי רבותיי, מי מלמד אותך מה זה יהודי, מה זה ריבונו של עולם, מה זה עולם, מה זה שלום, אז אני אגיד לכם, יש לי מורה אחד טוב. כי מציון I want to take the time to thank each and every one of you guys for taking the time to watch these videos and comment. Every comment is a blessing, is a gift to me. I appreciate it. I want to hear from you guys, see how you're doing. I also appreciate my Patreons. Every month I send them art to their mailing address. You can consider supporting this channel. The link is in the description. Also my art shop. You guys can check it out. I have some fun new t-shirts that can be in your Hebrew name. So it's interesting that you should ask because even though Am Yisrael are the ones that receive the Torah, the people of Israel, at the same time, it really belongs ultimately to all of mankind. So how does that work out? Every time that we receive the Torah, primarily in Mount Sinai, there has to be somebody who is a Gentile that joined Am Yisrael. And that time it was Yitro, Moshe Rabbeinu's father-in-law, that joined us to show that it actually belongs ultimately to everybody. And also in the story of Ruth that we read on Shavuot, Ruth was a non-Jew that joined into the nation to receive the Torah as well. So it really is uh, something that we have to teach everybody and everybody has a certain part. Even if you are not going to perform all 613 mitzvot, if you're not joining the Jews, you have a part in it as a Noahkite, as somebody who was born to the family of Noah. You have the seven Noahkite laws. You have a way to worship God Almighty. And we as a nation, as the Jewish nation, are supposed to teach the entire world some basic precepts of how to be good people, how to be respectful, how to be connected to each other and to God above. We want to give us all a blessing that we should be connected to the Torah, connected to our families, connected to our nations, and bring about a better era. Someone asked, why is the Torah healing? Okay, listen to this. The Torah is the most healing thing in the world. When we got to the Torah, everyone received the Torah. Everyone was healed from all their ailments, their depression, their anxiety. You know, I just heard the story of this guy. He used to go to this group and they studied Torah. One week, some guy brought his friend and he says, you know, this guy's really sick with cancer and he has to have bone marrow transplanted next week, you know, stem cells. So they had the most high, amazing, happy lesson and this guy was so excited. And next week he wanted to go get a bone marrow transplant. Stem cells, you know, like the fountain of youth needed to get it to his body again. And they checked his stem cells before the, the, the surgery and it showed that he had tons of stem cells, <laughs> record breaking. And they were like, what happened? Second of all, could you please donate some because we're looking for more. So this guy was literally totally healed just through hearing Torah, feeling Torah, and being on a high, high level. That's what happens when you hear Torah, when you hear the wisdom of God, when you connect to God and to your soul, everything is healed. I feel this when I'm listening to Torah, if I'm having a bad day, I listen to something that makes me feel good, something I can learn from and it really lifts me up. When we feed our souls, we can be healed.
Okay, the last and most interesting question, personally, is why didn't I know about this growing up? So a lot of us did not. Okay, so let's say you're in an African tribe, little village, okay, in Africa, and one day it's sushi party day, and you're like, what? Who cares? I don't even know what sushi is. I don't know how to even do that, okay? So I feel like me growing up, I never was taught about the wisdom of God and the wisdom of the world that's in the Torah and how to live my life and how to fulfill my purpose as a Jew through this Torah. So this is the day, this is the holiday we celebrate the Torah and there's nothing really to do. You know, there's no menorah to light. There's no latkes to make. There's no dreidel to spin. It's just being. And every day you just be with the Torah and learn. So maybe that's why I didn't know about this growing up because I didn't really know what Torah was at all. <laughs> but I also think that we're born knowing everything. We just have to tap into that. So that's what I'm doing right now. Thanks for hanging out with me. I bless us that we can receive good things in this world, receive the Torah and all its wisdom and all its amazing things it could teach us, and that it can cleanse us so every day we'll have energy to live our best lives. That not only, again, we feed our bodies, we have to feed our souls. So, so I'm glad we can feed our souls together. Hopefully, let me know what you like to feed your soul with. So anyway, happy Shavuot, hug some ass, and see you guys hopefully soon. Happy Shavuot! Happy Shavuot! Happy Happy Torah Samea! Happy Torah Samea! We're gonna get the Torah! I love you! Stop screaming at the baby!